All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Keep, Keep Your Hands, Hands Off Azekin, episode 12. 12. The finale. This is the last episode, y'all. Yep. Our girls have worked so hard. They've come so far, and in the end, it might not even matter. Yeah, because that music. That music. That two music. notes. Mm -hmm. Maybe three. On a piano, just bing, 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 Oh, yeah. my God. So, this is one of those, oh, no, we panic. Mm -hmm. At dawn, we ride, but tonight, we panic, you know? Yeah. But thankfully, that's kind of the only thing they really have left to do. Now, yes. it's a big issue, but... Yeah. Asakusa if, came in last mm -hmm. episode, yep. like, and yep. really pulled this whole thing together. Yeah. So, now they know what direction they're going, mm -hmm. and yet... The music. Right. Mm -hmm. So, in before, this was secretly a music anime all along. Uh -huh. And they start their own band. <laughs> no, 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 no. But um, what if they have to then consult then the adults, you know, sure. of the school and be like, hey, we need to get the music club into working on this. And I know you've been Stop. pushing all the other clubs away from us, you know, because of, you know, outside money and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um uh, who knows? How can we make this work? Watch, watch their 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 supervisor guy mm -hmm. actually be like, you know, actually, I got, I got some, you. I got some people that I that, could talk that would be to. wonderful. That would be legit. that would be, be fantastic. But yeah, we're gonna get to see probably their finished work. Yep. And then uh, what kind of professional um, feedback they're gonna get at the convention? Right. So y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. あ、なあ。気づかなかった。この曲自体は悪くないですけどね。全然内容とあってないじゃん。むしろ正反対。悲しく見える。うん。ああ、デイン。ただだない。これ使えないよ。ああ、ポーミズザキ、カズシーズブ
Easy breezy check it each other. Easy breezy each other. <笑>ダンス神話特典スペシャル映像ってことでどこかで公開とかてか全体調整とラスト変更同じ感あるわけラスト以外は今ある素材を使ってどうにかするラストも新しく書くのは2カット今の名前は2つの立場の争いが始ま
That's cool. And click. Yeah, into all kinds of devices. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, oh it sweet. looks good. Music doesn't uh, take away from anything at the mm -hmm. moment, so this is good. Yeah. Jeez. Oh. All right, getting right into it. Yeah, let's see the shot. Nice. They use all the narrative tools in order to communicate uh -huh. that it was a unique kind of uh, weapon, yeah. And we still haven't seen any of the beings inside of them yet. Right. That very conscious choice. All right, gotcha. all right. It's nice and simple, but it is getting, it is getting the message across. Mm -hmm. And this is the different part. They're both trying. Mm -hmm. Nice, and they had established the right. ripples with the uh, the fish being affected by the explosions. But it's and not it's enough still, to stop. Just continuing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, cool. That, cool. that was sweet. Yeah. That, that was awesome. Yeah, that was, okay. that was great. Nice. Oh, now their own are shooting them down. Mm hmm. Whoa. How quickly we turn on right. each other. There doesn't even need to be a distinction of us or them. Mm -hmm. It's just, yeah, oh, you're against us in some way. Yeah. I like how it's basically just Asakusa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's face wise. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they didn't show this music in the uh, in yeah. the in the previous bit. Mm -hmm. And then that's when everyone sees, right? Cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh, yeah. That's great. Imagination in uh -huh. the greatest world. Yep, erupting yep. in all their minds and hearts. And oh. <laughs> sleep. <laughs> Look at that smiling little floof. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, because this continues. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love it. Sonic I love Man. it. Oh. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Oh, and now it's kind of underwater. taking on their, their drawing style, too. Right, right. Because it's the greatest world, yeah. Mm -hmm. You'd see the whole thing. All of it. Wow. Uh, I love it. I love oh. it. Ah, that was great. Oh, man. That was so good. That was wonderful. Mm, yeah. Oh, that, uh, all right. That, that was, was that was a fantastic that was really good. finale, I, and their animation was good and long. It was really good. It was a proper like, short. Like oh, it was man. really really good. And oh my god, there's there's so much I want to say about the 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 passion of this show mm -hmm. with regards to the fact that it is uh, giving a spotlight on a medium that we all love mm -hmm. but maybe don't appreciate as much sure and yeah. thus it's something that i uh, my discussion could never do what this show is trying to communicate in the hearts of those people uh -huh. that are the asakusas and the you know mizusakis out there yeah in, in some ways i i feel like that's why kanamori was best girl for us as well was oh. kind of that part of where we we understood her 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 place in this you know a little bit more mm -hmm. but oh my god there was so much so much just heart in the finished I, work that we were able to see yep i yeah because and, and and it's one of those things where because we've seen their animations in the finished form yes. twice now right the fact that they have that as a finale here mm -hmm. and beyond that that it's the we're not going to tell the audience how it goes no. Exactly. You're going to have to watch it and find out. Right. That's that's a gamble, right? Because because we love these characters and so of course we love to see, you know, their animation and the fruits of their labor and everything. Right. But oh man. I I love how it turned out. I loved the whole journey of everything that they had to do in order to make this happen, you know? Right. We got to see just just how much of a of a miracle it was, right? The music comes in and well shit, well, we can't yeah. we can't redo yeah. the music. Right. That's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. We'll take the animation that we have and base it around shuffle it around the and then mix music some new stuff, yeah. And then change up the ending. Right, right. Okay. It was basically a bit of fast, quick, new animation that they needed to do, mm -hmm. and then some clever editing in order to make it all still sync up and right. work. And you can see towards the end where some of the bits were were more like, okay, this was done last minute. Like right. the house is going by and everything. Like, mm -hmm. like that was very clearly part of those last two cuts where right. it's the, 
okay, yeah, they did this in, you know, a day, right? I wonder if but, there was something in the behind the scenes for this show's actual production that limited certain aspects so that the animators wouldn't accidentally do too much. Oh, sure, right. It, yeah, but like I think it probably takes more skill in order to try and fake that than it would actually mm -hmm. to try and simulate it for real. Yeah, it, like I feel like it's the kind of thing where you have the um like the the really talented performer that needs to sing in character, but their character is not some Broadway, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, exactly. trained, you know, like whereas singer. they as a person are, <laughs> right, right. Whereas they as a person are, so they right. need to actually tone tone down, down their, their singing capabilities. Yeah, it's very easy to do in a in a physical level, but it does still end up becoming a little bit more binary, but. Mm. Oh my God! Okay, these girls have co they've gone on a journey, but Asakusa being the main character, and mm -hmm. in this case here, the director, she capitulated her arc and became the leader and yep. brought her vision in a, in her imagination into reality to the point where she superseded the bounds of reality. She's like, music that doesn't work for us, I reject your reality yeah. and substitute my own. We're we'll gonna get, make it work. We'll get new animation done at the last second. And, uh, yeah, uh -huh. I know exactly what it needs to be. Wait, what? You had all that in your head just like, in the, like, minute or three that mm -hmm. it took for you to come up with it? That's incredible. Well, and what, one of the things that I love about it is it's showing where Asakusa's weakness up till now of uh -huh. the not sticking to one thing, always wanting to change it and things right. like that, that there are situations where that can become a strength, it can be a right? strength, yep. And now, first, yep. of course, Asakusa had to vanquish that weakness right? right you know face it and and figure out how to stick to the one thing and work mm -hmm. everything together and whatnot yeah but then in this situation where where they're in a, a really bad pinch and it's like um yeah. shoot what do we do hold on what if we changed it and kanamori's like you have <laughs> two seconds to explain yourself and it's like hold on hold on <laughs> you know and then it ends up working a lot better and it ends up even working not not just better but like it's a good thing that they had it go this way rather than just the dance, right? Right. I think that one of the things that's tricky about having, and this is from the story angle, mm -hmm. I would say. One of the things that's tricky about delivering a message through visual narrative primarily rather than some kind of audio narrative, meaning uh -huh. show, don't tell, is that oftentimes you can get in trouble when you get too specific. And okay. one of the things that I think that this narrative talked about with the, the idea of, you know, coexistence and stuff mm -hmm. is something that there's some vagary with regards to how and maybe some questions as to, like, will it last and stuff like that. Those are questions that can't be answered really fully even without, like, even with the, uh, the, the, the exposition of sorts and all mm -hmm. that because it still leads you with more questions. So if anything, this was taking what was already an art form and really saying, no, we're gonna let the art be just the art. We're not mm -hmm. gonna try and bog it down too hard with a um, a hard, I would say, uh, specific narrative. Like the narrative is very simple uh -huh. and very straight to the point. Yes. But as for how you end a narrative, Oftentimes, that's where the specificity is needed. So, like when you get introduced to a world, it opens up, and then it pans closes out, back down, and then it closes back down towards the ending. But you don't have to do that. That is not a hard rule with regards to storytelling. It is, I would say, if you want to tell a more complex story. Mm -hmm. Like the more complex the story is, the more it's going to go out, which means the more you need to kind of pull it back in a little bit towards sure. the end so people know what kind of story you're trying right, to tell. Right, you don't have that. Ba -ba -ba. Right, but if you mm -hmm. never go out this far with the story, you just go out this far with the art itself, it then becomes this thing where people can add extra meaning and extra value right. into yes. it beyond what you intended as the artist. Mm -hmm. So in, in that respect, the minimalist approach here mm -hmm. and the vague of the ending in that regard sure. kind of led to a more beautiful result. Well, in a lot and in a lot of ways as well, the vagueness and whatnot of the song. Because the like even it though did it was build eventually. We got it to did hear build new eventually. Music, that's which, that is which very I was true. like, what, why didn't you why yeah, did you yeah. look through the whole track to see what it right. was? But I guess they didn't have time or, or, or whatever. Or, or it was something where it was like 
It okay. doesn't matter. This part, we don't know what to do with right, it. Right, right, yeah. exactly. And that helps sort of build the dramatic, you know, tension of, right. oh, God, how are they going to make this work? Um, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, and, and, and I get the feeling that a lot of the people that watch that, that anime, uh-huh. right, they, would, they will never know that the music was a problem. If anything, they'll be like, wow, that was such a great choice to have this, you know, like sad kind of track <laughs> that just sort of plays through it. Right. And the repetitiveness speaks to the fact that all of this is a cycle and yeah. that, you know, you can't escape it, right? You know. It's melancholy and it's sad. Exactly. It's, it's the it's the futility mm. of, of humans trying to reconcile and yep. and connect and make peace. But uh, I, I, I love that these girls went through this journey to get to this point where they all have their skills firing off mm-hmm. on all cylinders here. And yet still they had a very clear, you know, awkward hurdle to get over yeah. at the very end. Mm-hmm. And yet at the very end, we had that whole thing in the ED kind of play out here. You know, in a thousand years, someone's eyes will you know, see my voice, basically. Like, there's no way of knowing where their voices, their creative voices, will go or stop. So there's people that they were, in some ways, having trouble coexisting with that then ended up supporting and watching the very anime that they made. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, uh, yeah. 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 It's really wholesome. One of the things that I that i love now okay was was the the old lady was that the vice principal or mm-hmm. okay yeah yeah uh-huh i, I thought so yeah that was yeah. that was a wonderful the one that was planting the flowers mm-hmm. the one yep. that they were that asaka said was like wait a minute she likes shibahama like, right she mm-hmm. loves shibahama and so yeah like, oh hmm. wait a minute yeah that was yeah. that was absolutely fantastic mm-hmm. i loved that the whole thing of the production of the dvds was the big factor it wasn't when's the convention it's well, we need to get these DVDs made, right. and that takes time, and the company yeah. has their own constraints. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of an issue. It's and then, a problem. And then Kanamori <laughs> taking the power saw, like, okay, early morning. All right, you got it done. Oh my All god! All right, takes it. <laughs> Here's the data. Like that's. That's one of those things that, oh, that so it's the anime ridiculousness, right? Right. That, that adds to the effect and everything, and it's wonderful. Yeah. Don't do that in real life. And yet at the same time, in a weird way, I could see that happening in real life. Yeah, like with like varying like degrees of implementation or what have you. Sure, and but maybe yeah. maybe different levels of <coughs> consequence as a result of that that just weren't <clears throat> shown here. But the yeah. idea of the I'm a customer. We did the thing here. We're, yeah. we're, we'll, we'll pay you to do this. So 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 please take this. Uh, you just caused property damage. We'll take care of it. Yeah. But just here you go. Like <laughs> oh man. Okay. Yeah. Um, I loved yeah. how Kanamori then came in clutch with um, selling out the uh, DVDs by the, utilizing the anonymity aspect with uh-huh. regards to Mizusaki. Because right, the paper bag. That's her. Right. Uh-huh. And it's like, oh, there's extra secret you know, right, right, reasons exactly. behind this. I yes, definitely we, want oh, to see oh, this now. Yes, we can't know that it's you. Of course not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, right. God, that was so great. Uh-huh. Um, I loved how Sakasa went through, in this episode, a little bit of a journey of just realizing, oh, it's all real. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's happening. And while it was a lot of it, I think just exhaustion of just finally being Working all night and then all the other stuff. Uh But that realization of, oh, this great world that I imagined and has now been put to canvas is out there and people are going to experience it. Right. And some people saw it before me even sure you know fact, like yeah a lot of people the did, whole thing yeah. of the all right we sold out the con- the convention's over and i still haven't seen it i still yeah. haven't watched it like that yeah. that's something that i i know is real like i've talked with people who are like oh yeah i didn't even see the finished you know product or what have you until mm-hmm. we released episode one on the website or something like right. that. yeah yeah like there was there was something i saw that was you know one of those sort of like ah clickbaity kind of videos mm-hmm. you know thing but it was Harrison Ford, you know, 
like a few years ago, finally sitting down and watching uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah. You know, because it just never happened, right? Right. And it's like, yeah, that's that's a crazy thing to think about, <laughs> right. you know? And, yeah. and the idea that for these girls, they have been slaving over this project, right? Mm -hmm. Pouring absolutely everything into it mm -hmm. to the point so. that they don't even sort of get the chance to enjoy it. Right, you know, right. Like, in, in that respect, there's something really cool about when then they zoom out and then she says, like, and there's still a lot more room to go mm -hmm. or room to grow. And and you think about when you end up making something that you spend, you know, you know, months or years or whatever, you spend a lot of time working on and then you end up seeing it and you go, oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was capable of at that time. Right. What am I capable of now? Mm hmm. Yeah. And Ooh. and I love that the way this show ended because like okay, I would love to see more from these characters and stuff. Totally. But and at the same time, there could definitely be a season 2 if they wanted. Yeah, there definitely could be. Yeah. But there doesn't need to be. Nope. There doesn't need to be. Nope. The way it ended was fantastic. It sort of shows them now being on their journey. They've they've done the thing. They're going to continue to do the thing, right? They've got the established pattern right. and now they're going into a brave new world kind of uh -huh. thing, you know, like nice, like, nicely done. And outside the school, mm -hmm. beyond yep. Shibahama. Yep, exactly, yep. exactly. That that sort of coming of age thing where now they're going to be in the land of the adults and all that stuff, and and they have been, you know, and right. and okay, all right. This thing that was just an idea, right? Just that sort of mm -hmm. oh, okay, I'll I'll you know draw in my in my sketchbook. You know, and, and think about, you know, this this grand world. Now it's actually turning into something. Right. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Okay. Indeed, yeah. And like that that look of Asakusa wrapped up in the blanket right? with a stuffed animal, <laughs> eyes closed, you know, totally sleeping no. with that smile on her face. <laughs> like yep. that yep. that sums it up. It really does. Like, it really does. Oh man. So that's the show, y'all. Yep. We've got ourselves, like, a lot more, I would say, appreciation for what I used to call the simpler parts of anime. Mm, okay. The more fundamental is probably a better term, if you will. Because when I think about now anime, I'm realizing how much of a privilege it is in some ways that the animation is something that's so good almost all the time nowadays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah. I can just sit there and discuss the story. Right. And be right. in some ways completely oblivious to all this extra stuff that's yeah. going on right underneath the surface mm -hmm. that I'll probably mention one out of ten different points that right. I bring up. Maybe. Like, Maybe. like the fact that the people that watched Maybe. that anime, right? They didn't know about the all-nighters that they pulled. They didn't know about the trouble with the music. You know, nope. none of that stuff, right? Yeah. They just got to experience an anime. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, it was an experience. It was yeah. quite the experience. Oh. And they probably won't be forgetting it anytime soon. For sure. Oh, but all this yeah. other stuff they don't know about. Yeah. Oh, I love, I love the... The, the the cute girls doing cute things that mm. are like weirdly like passionate and inspiring and then like yep. wait this is more like doing crazy things doing like yes. insanely intensive things and now I'm like I should write that thing I should uh -huh. go make yeah, that I thing. know right yeah. and one of the things that I love about it yeah. is that and, and I think this kind of ties into the whole idea that Asakusa, it took so long for her to actually watch the anime that they produced. But the oh. idea that the love for, you know, stories and the anime and, you know, drawings and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's taken on this new form where the love of it is the creation of it, not oh. just the, the in like not just the um enjoyment of other people's stuff right uh -huh. it's the actual process of creating the thing not just the thing yeah and i and i think yeah. that f that you know for these characters it wasn't necessarily just about enjoying the 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 product you know sure much but um like there was definitely that love of the of the create creative side of it but i know for me personally one of the things that can get me hung up a lot is that the grueling 
grind of actually making the stuff is oftentimes not as enjoyable no. as the end result. It's it like never is right. But there's a different kind of enjoyment that you can get out of that. Right. And if that becomes something that that takes root enough to be self sustaining, then a bunch of wonderful things can come of it, right? A lot. But the reasons that I feel like, you know, you, me, you know, everybody don't necessarily do stuff like this is because we don't allow that side of things to take root. Mm -hmm. And then it's the idea of having an anime that w say we made rather than a love for the act of making anime, you know? Yeah. So, <sighs> but, uh, wow. All right. What a Ooh. show. I almost hope there's no season two. I feel like it, I feel like, it did, I feel like it did end kind of perfect yeah. in that regard. Yeah. But, uh, wow. Thank you so much y'all for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. Mm -hmm. Our next show that we will be getting into That's as right. noted by the patrons mm -hmm. is my teen romantic comedy snafu. Yes, yes. My teen romantic comedy snafu. Oreguru or Oreguru or I think something I like that. I believe is how it's pronounced. Yes. The yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, we will be reacting to that yep. after this show. So next week first episode's reaction to that. And if you want to see the first episode's reaction right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access so you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general. And you can also talk with Jacob about the sci-fi novel that he wrote. That's right. If you want to see the project that I made, mm. it's called Battle Lines. It's a sci-fi novel. It's really cool. Got lots of Nakama in there and all that stuff. Um, it's on Amazon. The link is in the description down below, so go check it out. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.